From your perspective, what was Severino's biggest issue in the first inning tonight? Uh, ex execution, uh, location. Um, you know, started first pitch of the game. I think uh, you know, trying to go away, fastball yanks it down and in to, to Adley, hits it hard in the hole. Um, you know, gets a little unfortunate on the next ground ball, just with how how we're uh, placed. Um, but then just you know, missed in the heart of the play, whether you know, hung a slider, uh, missed location with some fastballs. Obviously, Frazier really got into one. Um, you know, settled in, and, and the second time through, I thought made some good adjustments. I thought his cutter really played a role for him that second time through. But, but obviously, I mean, you know, that's a that's a rough first inning. This is three times this month he's allowed seven runs or more. Can you keep him in the rotation with that kind of inconsistency? Well, <clears throat> I mean, he's coming off of two good ones, and we gotta we gotta continue to look under the hood and you know see why that high level of execution isn't isn't there. Um, and right now we're just gonna continue to focus and work on that. Season high 18 strikeouts tonight. What did you think of the offensive approach? I actually thought we, you know, obviously you're behind the eight ball early, makes it tough. Um, I thought we, you know, outside of the strikeouts, like I thought at bats were, you know, building off of last night. I thought we grinded out really well. We made it really tough on Kramer. We couldn't finish off. Uh, we had a couple of good scoring opportunities where we had the bases loaded. We had a, maybe a first and second or second and third another time. So I thought we carried some of that momentum in from last night as far as, you know, um, but obviously, you know, you know they they beat us up with the strikeout too. So and and that's why we weren't able to throw more crooked numbers up there. But you know, out. I mean the 18. That's that's a big number, right? Um, but I do think a lot of guys had good at bats that building off of last night. Rizzo uh, didn't like a couple of calls. Do you think that contributed to him in later bats striking out as many times as he did? No, no, I just think it was a rough night for Anthony. Um, you know, uh, you know that they they pitched him tough certainly, but I don't think that was a contributor to to you know his later in the game at bats. It seemed, it seemed like he was maybe turning a corner. At, I don't know a week ago he had that four four game. Just what have you seen from him? Why hasn't he been able yeah, to keep that? Just up? just uh, still a little bit inconsistent. You know, had had a big game. Um, you know, swung the bat really. I, I thought had good at bats last night on base three times. Went the other way his last time against the lefties and then struggled tonight. So he's struggling to find that consistency, and that's what we got to continue to work to find. Do you see any percentage this for that with Rizzo? Um. Well, I mean, I think it's I, I, look any, any time the, the difference between, you know, and, and even with Seve, the difference between, you know, getting hit around and beat up in the first inning and, you know, throwing up a zero is sometimes a real fine line, right? A fine line of execution for a hitter, a fine line of that rhythm and timing that something's just a tick off. Um, and it's obviously it's it's been hard for him to find, and we got to keep working to get there. What's your thoughts on the homestand coming up? Uh, two tough teams, but you are going home. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's a tough one, but nothing stops. We got to we got to get back on the horse tomorrow. Obviously, Tampa's coming in, and uh, we got to be ready to go. And and you know, obviously with some with 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 the urgency of where we're at in the season. How do you assess how this weekend went, uh, you know, one and two against the first place Orioles, but Aaron Judge comes back? Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's ex exciting to get Aaron back. Um, you know, I thought, <clears throat> you know, did a lot of good things in the first game. Um, they made some really good defensive plays that really kept us off the board. Obviously, I thought we played a real complete game last night. And then tonight, a rough first inning that kind of sunk us. Um, so, you know, it, there's there's enough in there that's happening that we need to we can build on, um, but you know like like you guys said you know we're going home, more tough teams coming, we gotta be ready to go. Aaron, they jumped on on Severino so quickly. Was it was it almost unbelievable to the first six guys all scoring up on him? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, kind of yanks the down and then heater right in the nitro zone to to Rutschman for the first pitch there which, you know, he didn't want to do, obviously. And then, um, you know, Henderson kind of chops one where, you know, it's almost a double play ball. It gets through and then, and then you know, 
a mistake slider to uh, Santander that he hits with authority. Um, O'Hearn goes the other way with one. He loses Hayes with a walk. You know that hurt him there, and then and then obviously uh, Frazier really jumped him. So, um, I mean, no way around it. It was a tough first inning. Um, not exe- you know, not a lot of execution there, and you know they capitalized on it too. Sometimes when you don't execute, then all then all I'll square them up. So, um, you know, obviously a rough night.